Hey everybody, what's going on? Superman Ryan here, and we are back with some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Kaiba Cup. We have the Kaiba Cup. We can't do any ranked matches today because of the Kaiba Cup, but that's okay because the Kaiba Cup is essentially ranked matches. So, ladies and gentlemen, I created a new deck strictly for the Kaiba Cup, and I actually had to rank up a lot because I was not ranked 20 yet. Uh, and you have to be, for those of you that don't know, you have to be ranked 20 to participate in the Kaiba Cup. But I created a new deck, and look at this. Look at all of these wins, though. Oh my gosh. So we're going to hop right on in, and I'm going to show you guys my new deck. I'm actually considering taking a screenshot of my deck and putting it down below my face cam um, so that you guys can see it and replicate it, maybe, if you want to use this same deck. All right, we're going up against the Seto Kaiba. And I will be going first. Now, I am using Bandit Keith because, in my own opinion, Bandit Keith is the best, um, the best legendary duelist to use in a sticky situation. Meaning, oh, this is a pretty shitty first hand, actually. Oh. Meaning that, in a situation like this, um, when you come out with a shitty first hand or you get, uh, you know, you just draw a shitty card <laughs> and you can use anything better, uh, like Whiptail Crow, then it gives you the opportunity to do that with the switcher ability. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below, are you participating in the Kaiba Cup event? And if you are, what rank are you? How many stars do you have? I just started doing this last night, last night being the first, uh, late last night actually, I dueled, I grinded enough to get up to rank 2, or to get 2 stars, and uh, and then I went to bed because it was late, and now I'm getting up early in the morning. So what I think we're going to do in this video guys, I think we're going to do a couple of matches, I don't think that we're going to leave it to just this one, I think we're going to do 1, 2, maybe 3, we'll see how long they take. Okay, so we're starting off with a monster in attack position. We are going to activate our, uh, our Zing Zen Hu. Zing Zen Hu. And for those of you that do not know, Zing Zen Hu's special effect is, or is, is it's, it's effect is that I get to pick two face down cards on the field, and those two face down cards cannot be activated. So the two face down cards that he just threw on the field are pretty much useless. Now, unfortunately, uh, for me, he does still have the spell card Mountain, and I can't really do anything about that unless I draw a D-Spell. Ooh, but that's going to help out quite a bit. Okay, so now I can summon my Teva. I'm going to sacrifice my Whiptail Crow to summon my Teva in attack position. And Teva's ability is that when this monster is tribute summoned, my opponent cannot attack next turn. So even if, even if... Uh, my opponent gets the upper hand next turn and somehow gets a monster out on the field that's that's stronger than a 2,000 beater. Uh, they can't attack. They can't do anything next turn, which is going to give me the chance. It's going to spare me one turn of losing life points due to battle damage one way or another, which is really, really fantastic. As always, ladies and gentlemen, follow me on the social media links down below. Uh, I'm not doing it right now just because of the Kaiba event. Um, but when I go, when I start recording Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, when I get on and I'm just playing for fun, I'm going to tweet out and say, hey, look, I'm dueling, I'm on Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, I'm dueling. Let's, let's duel. Who wants to duel? Okay, now, he kind of fucked up because activating this Mask of the Accursed is not the, let's see, second for each monster your opponent's side of the field. So if I summon another monster, then he's going to have 1,800 attack. So I need something more powerful than an 1,800 attack monster. Or to draw, I'm actually going to use this. I'm going to get rid of that spell reclamation again. Uh, uh, damn, though. Okay. I'm going to end my turn there. Um... He kind of fucked himself over right there because now he cannot use any more spells. Uh, until I get rid of this Mask of the Accursed, he cannot use any more spells or traps. So he kind of screwed himself over, but at the same time he is going to 
chip away at my life points turn by turn. The one card that I'm really wanting right now, um, Rigorous Reaver. Rigorous Reaver will help out, actually. Rigorous Reaver will actually help out. I'm going to lose some life points by doing this, um, but I need to get rid of this panda. So I'm going to go ahead and use Rigorous Reaver. I'm going to attack his panda. I'm going to lose 200 life points, but his panda is going to lose 500 attack points. Um, so the next turn, I can summon... Uh, Jerry Beans man and I can take him out now I'm really wanting to actually put Sergeant Electro out on the field as well but uh, I only want Sergeant Electro for his effect and Sergeant Electro's effect is really useless right now because I've already his two face down cards he already can't use and his third card in the spell and trap zone is already activated so I need to destroy that mask before and this is gonna help me do it. Okay, so I'm actually just wait. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna do this. I was. I was wondering if I could use the Fiend Mega Cyber special ability, um, but no, I can't. But that is okay. That is okay. So yeah, we're gonna do this, and then we're just gonna attack. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Boom. Okay, now, next turn I can summon my Sergeant Electro, and that would actually be useful if Seto Kaiba puts a card face down. If he puts a card face down, I can summon my Sergeant Electro, activate his effect, and then he has three useless face down cards. Oh, so he's not going to throw one face down. He's going to end his turn, which is smart. It's the smart thing to do. Um, yeah, I'm actually just going to go ahead and summon Sergeant Electro. And it would be very, very stupid of him to let him attack his face down card in case it's a Yomi ship. Which it might be... Yes, it was! Yes, it was. And see, I would rather get rid of the Yomi ship uh, and win the duel right now anyway than... Uh, or get rid of my Sergeant Electro. Sorry, I would have rather gotten rid of my Sergeant Electro from the Yomi ship effect in my Fiend Mega Cyber. Obviously, because... I won the duel because of that. So what we're going to do, let's see, we are about eight, nine minutes into it, so we're just going to hop on in to the next ranked match. No, not ranked match, the next Kaiba Cup match. Ooh, we got some gems. I will say this for those of you that aren't um, a high enough rank for the Kaiba Cup yet. You get a lot of gems. You get a lot of gems. A lot of a lot of stuff from the Kaiba Cup. So the next time it comes around, you're probably really gonna want to make sure that you're at least ranked 20 so that you can do this event. Okay. Um, okay. So we're going up against another Zeto Kaiba. Is this the same guy? That would be that would be hilarious. Hilarious. As always, ladies and gentlemen, if you are enjoying this video, you like what we do here, consider hitting that like button. You want to see more Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, and again, guys, we record videos twice a day, every single day. You want to see more of what we got going on on this channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. And make sure, ladies and gentlemen, that you hit that notification bell so that you can be notified, one, as soon as my videos go live, and two, as soon as I go live on YouTube. Again, guys, we go live on YouTube every single Saturday, noon Central Standard Time. Um, I believe this Saturday we may... Um, I'm getting a new splitter. Okay, so I got my first splitter so that I could record uh, my mobile gameplay with my Elgato, and the splitter did not work. I have a new one coming in the mail. It should be in the mail any day now. Uh, ooh. Ooh, that warrior digreffer. Yeah, I'm not... Okay, well, I'll get rid of that, so that'll be... We'll be okay there. Nobby. Nobby! Anyway, so I should be getting my new splitter here in the next couple of days. Before Saturday is when I should get it. So we we may rec or uh, we may live stream, sorry, we may live stream some new Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Oh, that's with Banner or Courage. I'd rather got rid of Banner or Courage.
A second banner. What the fuck does this guy have in his hand? Damn. 2100 beater in attack position on his first turn. Now, what I could do... What is his defense? Okay, 1600. Um, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to switcheroo. I'm going to get rid of the spell reclamation. And I'm really hoping that I can get that Fiend Mega Cyber. Either the Fiend Mega Cyber or... Oh, fuck. Well, you know what? That might help, actually. Straight Flush might help out quite a bit. If I can get him to put another card on the field, another Spell and Trap card on the field, I can use this Straight Flush and I can just wipe his Spell and Trap card zones clean. But what I'm hoping that I can draw in the next turn or two... Ooh, just like that. Ooh, and it's Wonder Balloons. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus! Go ahead. Go ahead. No, 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 no. I want you to discard cards first. I want you to discard cards first. Just like that. Just like that. That. Boom. Ha! <laughs> Got he. Oh, man. And you just discarded a card. Damn, man. That sucks. That sucks. Okay, so now we're at the point where I could really draw just about any of my monsters and uh, be okay. Obviously, Whiptail Crow is 50, 50 attack points shy of being able to at least crash with his Warrior Digrepper. But that's okay, because you know what? In this game, Warrior Dive Rapper, yeah, he's strong, but he's not the strongest. And I got a fucking Spell Reclamation again. Again. I only have one of these in my deck. I only have one Spell Reclamation in my deck. And I'm just drawing this motherfucker like it's nobody's business. Jerry Beans Man for the win! Alright. Alright, I can hear my kids getting in the, in, in the kitchen, getting rowdy. They're eating breakfast right now. Made them some waffles. Made them some waffles for breakfast. And they are getting rowdy. Usually trying to not record until after they're done eating breakfast. Uh, but I have a lot of recording to do. And I have to record some ARC. And ARC is the most time-consuming thing that I have to record ever. One, because it's like 30 minutes to an hour long. And two, because it, it's just long. It's long setup process. Who's going to summon a monster in attack position? What does he have? Ooh. Ooh, during your main phase, you can tribute. Damn it. Ooh, one of the blooms. Uh, during your main phase, you can tribute. Summon one spellcaster type monster phase to attack position. Um, if this card is sent from the field of the graveyard, you can add one spellcaster type normal monster from your deck or hand, or graveyard to your hand. Uh, you can only use this once per turn. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to summon my Teva in attack position, which is one is going to give me a 2000 attack beater. And two, again, with Teva's special ability, he's not going to be able to attack next turn. So, if for some reason he gets a very powerful spellcaster type and gets it out on the field, there's not going to be a lot that he can do, at least for that one turn. And that one turn is going to give me the opportunity to draw at least one more card to set up this Wonder Balloons, which is going to be fantastic. Fan-freaking-tastic. Okay, okay. So he's gonna summon a monster in face down defense position. So I'm gonna assume I didn't. I wasn't really paying attention. I'm assuming that he got fucking spell reclamation. I'm assuming. You know what? I'm gonna get rid of spell reclamation with wonder balloons. Really, wonder balloons is the reason that I have spell reclamation, so that I can activate. Um, so I can activate it and chain it with my wonder balloons. That way, if somebody were to destroy my wonder balloons. Um, with Spell Reclamation, it's going to come right back to my hand. However, it's also good for getting rid of four Wonder Balloons. <laughs> Ooh, Warrior Dive Reference. Okay, so he didn't get a Spellcaster type. Okay. What do we got going on here? Let's see. So he does have some pretty powerful monsters in his deck. Oh, and he surrendered! He surrendered, boys! He surrendered! All right! Well, sucks for him. I think we might do one more duel. I think we might do one more duel because I really want to just show off the power of this deck. This deck, and, and this deck would not have been possible if it would not have been for the, the new card pack that had just dropped a couple of days ago. Um, if it was not for that card pack, this deck would not be possible. 
But I'll tell you what, guys, since I've created this deck, I have been on the biggest win streak of my life. Look at all these awards I'm getting just for winning one duel, just for winning that one duel. Look at all the awards that I just got. Again, guys, if you're not ranked 20 yet and you're not able to participate in the Kaiba Cup, I would either suggest grinding to get to rank 20 if you're really close um, so that you can grind at it just a little bit right now so that you can gain these uh, these awards because it does end on the third and today is the second. I believe it ends on the third. Um, but also, prepare for it the next time that it comes out because, again, a lot of rewards. A lot, a lot, a lot of rewards. Okay, so we're going up against Joey Wheeler with that life point boost. Okay, we got us a pretty strong opening hand, in my opinion. Now, there are cards that I wish that I would have gotten um, instead. But uh, that Zing Zang Hu and this uh, Duminous Dark Witch, or do names, whatever. Duminous, I don't know, I think it's Duminous. Duminous Dark Witch. Uh, I'm, I'm very, very happy with it. Especially since we got this Yomi ship. So if he summons a monster that's stronger... Let's see. When this card is destroyed by Battle Sense the Graveyard, destroy the monster that destroy this card. Okay, so that's actually pretty fucking sweet. Ooh, and Soul Exchange. Soul Exchange, boys. We got that Swift Soul Exchange. Okay, um... How do I want to play this off? Okay, so it's going to take it up to 1900. Okay, um, I'm assuming that that they just want to get past this turn. They want to get past this turn and maybe sacrifice that monster. Um, so I'm going to get rid of it right now. I've always got the opportunity to summon another monster next turn. Especially with this soul exchange. If I can draw my Teva or my Fiend Mega Cyber and they set a monster face down, we're Gucci. We are G Gucci. Another monster in attack position. Okay. Okay. And the banner of courage. The banner of courage. Okay. So we are going to have to take some damage from that. Um, what is... Ooh, 800. Yeah, I don't really think I want to take... Okay. Okay. No, we'll be Gucci right here. So we're going to go ahead and summon Jerry Beans Man in attack position. I'm kind of curious what kind of deck this guy's running. It seems like he's running just a powerful attacking deck. Um, and by that I mean one with 1700 beaters, 1800 beaters, uh, monsters whose, you know, attack will go up to 1900, uh, when summoned, or when another, when your opponent's monster is summoned, so I'm, I'm really curious as to what kind of deck this guy is running. So I gotta, I had to change my whole setup with my new lights because they're too big for me to, um, what do we got there? What? Oh, yeah. I was like, what? Why is he doing that? That makes sense. So, yeah. No, it does. It looks like his deck is full of 1,700 beaters. Um, it's not really going to help me out any. You know what? We're going to activate the skill. We're going to activate the switcheroo skill because I'm still trying to get one of these two cards. Um, you know what, we'll get rid of, yeah, we'll get rid of the Ancient Wisdom. Are you kidding me? I only have one of these in my deck. I only have one of these in my deck. And you're telling me I switch a route, put it back in my deck, shuffled my deck, and then drew that one card out of the 14 fucking cards that I have in my deck? You're joking, right? I guess I can't say much. If you guys don't know um, who the Shady Penguin is, go check out his channel. He does Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links uh, duels. Awesome guy. Great content, but I was watching a video that he put up yesterday, <laughs> and, uh, does he? No. Okay. And he, he, uh, whatchamacallit, switch root. He switch root three times, put his Relinquish in his deck. I shouldn't say three times because you can only switch root twice. He drew Relinquished, switch root, put it back in his deck, drew it again, farmed that switcheroo, switch root again his next turn, put it back in his deck, and then drew it again. Oh, girl. Oh, girl. We got that swift blue eyes white dragon. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out his high tide right now. Um, I'm just going to kind of try to survive 
uh, until I can get a monster that's either going to stay out on the field long enough for me to use this soul exchange, or again, until I draw the Fiend Mega Cyber or Teva. I was kind of hoping I was going to draw the Fiend Mega Cyber because then I could have special summoned uh, the Fiend Mega Cyber because he had two more monsters on the field than I did when I started my turn. So I could have special summoned the Fiend Mega Cyber and summoned my Warrior Dike Ripper and I could have just wiped his field clean. Oh, he just won, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Damn! So I actually lost with this deck. I actually lost with this deck. That guy had a very good strategy, and I, I just got shitty cards. I'm, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it out on the table for you guys to decide. Was his deck better than mine, or did I just get a shitty hand? Because there was. In my opinion, of course, it's my deck, so I'm always going to defend my deck and defend my choices. But in my opinion, I had the better deck. I just got shitty draws. I could have drawn my Teva. I could have drawn my uh, Fiend Mega Cyber. And then that would have taken care of all of his monsters. It would have turned the duel around like that. Ooh, and I went down 98. Ooh, girl. Ooh, girl. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. Again, let me know down in the comment section below. One, are you participating in the Kaiba Cup? And what rank are you? How many stars do you have? As you can see right here, I have two. And two, whose deck do you think was better, my last opponent or mine? Do you think it was just bad luck? Do you think it was just bad pulls? Do you think that he just had a better deck than me? Let me know all that down in the comment section below. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, again, if you enjoyed this video, consider smashing that like button. Uh, you like what we do here, you want to see more of it, consider hitting that subscribe button. And remember guys, to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified as soon as I go live on YouTube. And as soon as my videos go live. But that is it for this video guys, and remember to always have a beautiful day, and to always stay Gucci. This is Superman Ride signing off. Peace guys.